Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. It's my David here today and today I'm very very excited today, okay? <laughs> you guys already know, you already know from the title, yes, yes, there's something cooking inside your baby girl's stomach. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for clicking into my channel. Today I decided to do a video to tell you guys a very big secret that I've been keeping for a while and I don't like I've been keeping it, you know. I wanted to tell you guys soon so but my stomach refused to come up. I wanted my stomach to be big enough so that I'll be able to show you guys the size and everything so that I can understand <laughs> because it took a very long time for my stomach to get this big, okay? I'm about seven months pregnant and I decided to share with you guys, tell you guys my story, show you guys my journey. How I felt when I got when I had I was pregnant, blah blah blah, and all those questions. And before I go to those questions, I'll like to get my baby bump. <laughs> so yeah. First, let me say to you, I cannot wait to see you. You are the two. I they pray for the day when I can finally kiss you. You know, say every day I pray for you. So, if this is your first time for tuning to my channel, you're welcome. My name is Maria Davis and I'm a Nigerian based YouTuber. My channel, I talk about skincare, lifestyle, wellness, and all of that. So, if something, if something that you're interested in, you can subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified when I upload a new video. I know I'm supposed to have made this video a long time ago, and I said earlier my stomach didn't pop up until six months, and I've not really had the opportunity to come and sit down here and tell you guys about my pregnancy and yeah and if you don't know I'm my third trimester that is I am about to finish the you know the journey okay I'm going to be answering some questions some pregnancy questions tag that I feel you guys will want to ask me or want to know about my journey and everything so I'm going to be answering some of them I have some questions right here I'm going to be looking down to read some of the questions but any which way i am going to be asking some questions so stay tuned the first question here is how many months pregnant are you yes right now i am seven months pregnant and i'm pregnant for seven months like yo <laughs> it's been a long time it's been a long time to me i feel like i'm just so tired you know before my smile got this big, I wasn't really feeling this tired, but now that's everything. If I can stand up from the bed, if I can do this, I just feel very weak and lazy. That's why most of the time I don't even have strength to reply messages. I see you guys message. So even come online, to sit down to make videos sometimes has been very difficult for me. Okay, so I've been pregnant for seven months. The family reacts to the news. Yeah, my family, you know, you know when you just, you Nigerian parents now, Nigerian family, because I'm a Yoruba girl, okay, I got married to a Igbo man, if you don't watch my question tag with my, get to know me with my husband, I'll link it up right here, okay, so you know Yoruba people now, when you marry, finish, oh yeah, nine months, oh yeah, what's happening, what's happening, okay, so they were very excited about the news, even me, I was heaven, I was like, <laughs> So early, I didn't want to like get pregnant that early, okay? But everybody around me were excited for me, and my husband was excited. Do you want more children? Hell no, hell no, I do not want more children. Just I do not want to get pregnant again after this one because, guys, I swear to god, it's not easy. Like for real, it's not easy to carry pregnancy for this long. I'm not even up to nine months. Like I'm just seven months. Okay, it's not easy. Like yo, I would want to go through that. And you, know why I want to have more children? Because I feel like I will not. I cannot take care of a lot of children. I don't think I can handle like two or three. Let me face one first. When I face one, well, I think that yes. It's something I can do, then I can now handle two or three. But I do not want, as, I, as I'm 
doing this video right now, I do not want more children. Yeah, that's an answer. What's your biggest cravings? Okay, my biggest cravings. So I didn't really have cravings. My first time is that I wasn't craving anything. Okay. I wasn't even really eating like that. I wasn't drinking water. I was not, I was not okay. It's not like I was sick. I wasn't sick. I was, I was not just eating anything, okay? Then, my second trimester, I wasn't really craving, but there was something that was doing me is Ojukokoro. You ever call it Ojukokoro? English is as I. Once I see a food like this, eh? What's that? Is that rice? I want to eat it. Ah, that's been so. Ah, I want to eat that beans. Ah, I don't know. No. That's yam. I want to eat that yam. So that's my own kind of curry. I must see it. You must say it. You know, most times I also be like, what are you craving for? What do you want to eat? What should I make? I'll be like, mm, hey, what do you want to eat? He says jollof rice. Yes. Then is that jollof rice I want to eat? But for me to start thinking of what I'm craving. I don't think I really have cravings like that. I don't have I don't have cravings till now. I don't know maybe the next two months I'm going to have cravings of since when I've been pregnant till now I didn't have any cravings and I was just having ojukokoro. <laughs> ojukokoro. If you're not a Yoruba person, repeat after me. Ojukokoro is at I like when you when you see something and you want it. Because you've seen it, then you want it. Your your eye is choking, choking you. That is the cravings I was having. What has been the best part of being pregnant? The best part of being pregnant is that you know people tend to care for you extraordinary. Even people that don't even care about you before, they'll start calling you, they'll start doing things for you, start telling you, you know, take it easy, all this kind of thing. You know, I was en I'm enjoying it though, guys. I'm not lie. I'm enjoying it. My husband, he does things like he always caring on a normal day, but it's not extraordinary care. When I be like, this place is paining me. This place is paining me. It was just sorry, sorry, sorry. That's the best part. <laughs> and you're right. I'm in a good mood today, so you guys, just forget it. That's the best part of me being pregnant. The part, the part that, and another best part is when the baby kicks. Like you, when the baby kicks, I just love that feeling. Like, like oh, this baby's kicking, this baby's kicking, this baby's kicking. Like I love that feeling. That feeling is amazing. Like God is really great. Like it's really great. You know, if you've been pregnant before, I know that feeling. Put it in the comment section, okay? <laughs> What's the worst part of being pregnant? The worst part of being, the worst part of me being pregnant till now is that my body, my body has changed, guys. I was not this chubby. See, look at my boobs. Look at everywhere. Look at my cheeks. Look at you know. I was, I'm not this fast. Look at my arms. Look at my. If you see my lap, you see my hips, guys. I've grown times so my weight has increased and like, I'm just afraid. I have stretch mark. I don't have stretch mark on my stomach yet. But I have on my hip side because my hip has really expanded. So I have on my hip side and it's really crazy. That is the worst part. Like I don't because sometimes even down there has become so somehow like I just I can't just wait. Those are, those are things I see that be like, oh my, I can't wait. I can't wait for this nine months to come because my body is not myself. I can't do some things. I can't bend down. I can't lie down. There's way I sleep. I can't do that I sleep straight. I sleep. I don't care. But right now I have to sleep like this. Raise one leg up. What does yeah, it sounds the worst part of it and I know it's a good journey. I know some of you are enjoying it if you're pregnant, but I'm enjoying it. I won't say I'm enjoying it, but it's the worst part of being pregnant. It both things are not there. If you are still who you are, you still you can still slay with your you know curvy sling me body while you're pregnant, then I don't think it'll be the worst part. Okay? Anyway. Do you have a best plan? Currently I do not even have a birth plan. Okay, as I know that I'm filming this video, I don't have a birth plan because 
any bed plan goes for me is it a natural bed is it, is it a vagina bed or medicated bed or c-section anyone okay because i have seen i've read i've heard a lot of stories about child beds and guys at this point i don't even care how my own comes so far it comes i am okay my baby is okay then i'm good to go okay because a lot of stories like sometimes you have a particular best plan in your head then when you when it's time for that time it doesn't come out that way they will not be disappointed i don't want to get disappointed that is why i don't want to have any best plan in my head so i want to just be open and free to any best any time any time that is going to save my life any time that's going to be easy Anytime that does not make me lose my baby or lose myself in the process, okay? Are you scared about labor? Guys, I will not say I am not scared and I will not say I am scared. When I mean I am not scared is that I feel like what, what is in my head when it comes to pain is that there is nothing that lasts forever. There is no pain that you are feeling now that continues to last forever as a point is going to let go if you if you're having menstrual pain that menstrual pain you feel like your life is about to die but in two or three days or four days it's all gone you're back to your normal self you can't even remember that you're even feeling pain three days ago all you know that it was painful that is exactly the mindset i have when it comes to giving birth i feel like no matter the pain, I know it's going. To, I know I'm going to feel a lot of pain. I know I'm going to feel a lot of pain, but I have at the back of my mind that it's not going to last forever. It's a pain that is going to bring human being to this world. What do you look forward to after pregnancy? I look forward to you know having my body back. I will not say my skin because since I've been pregnant. Pregnancy has been good to me guys when it comes to my skin, especially my face. If you know me, you know me that I used to have acne. No matter what, even if my face is smooth, you shall be one acne that is popping up like this. Doing good morning, good morning. But I, I don't really have acne. Even the fact that I'm not even really using anything serious on my body or my skin, I'm still saying my, I want my skin back, but I want my body back. Like my stomach, you guys should see it where I was pregnant. Before I got pregnant, my stomach was flat. Like looking at my stomach right now, I'm so scared that it's not going to come back. I'm so scared that I'm going to have a lot of stretch marks. I'm also, my body's going to sag. I'm super scared and I'm scared of a lot of things. And I can't just wait to get my body back. I can't wait to be free, to be able to sleep the way I want, you know walk the way I want, to be able to eat what I like, drink the old drink in this world, okay? I can't wait for that. Thank you so much guys for watching this video to this point. If you have any more questions about my pregnancy, you can just leave it down in the comment section. Chat to me up on Instagram, WhatsApp and all of that. So I'm going to end this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next Video. Bye. I they pray for the day when I can finally kiss you. You know, say every day I they pray.